Okay, so we format a little bit more of the document here. And I'm just going to show you about adding some charts. In. So if we go back to the top here, you can see we've covered quite a few of the things, but we're going to now look at adding charts in from Excel. So this is on page 10, but it isn't anymore. So I've moved some of the things through by putting in some returns. So what we're going to do is right click on it. We're going to update the field and we're going to update the entire table. And now you'll see it's moved to where all our things are. So we're going to add pictures from Excel. Left, we can hold control and then we can left click on the number. It'll take us straight to this page. We can have a look at what the layout of the page is like. You can see there's a page break. You can see there's four spaces before it. We can turn off the show hide tool now. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to Excel and we're going to pick up a chart. So you can select the chart. Control C or right click and copy, whichever one, and go back to the document. Now we're going to put it in, but we're not going to just paste it. We're going to paste special and drop it as an enhanced meta file. I tend to find in the past, these have often been the best resolution when they come to be printed. Maybe someone wants to tell me why that is above the other formats or which format you think is better, but enhanced meta file is generally what I found to be good to use. And I'll just say, OK, and now this is like a fixed image. I can drag it from the corner. I can move it around and I can make it whatever size I want to make it. OK, I might then think, well, actually, you know, I want to actually copy some data from some cells. in, So I can go back to the Excel file. I could pick up the data here and then I might pick up a range of cells. It could be any range. I might copy that. Control C or right click and copy. I then get back to here. I want to paste as well. Now you can just paste and this drops it in as a, a formatted, um, you know, in the Excel format. But I tend not to want to deal with data like that because it's a bit messy. So rather than doing that, I'm going to again paste, paste special and pick enhance meta file from this as well and say OK. And now it's like a picture and whatever it looked like in the file is what it looks like in here. But now I can drag it to size and I can put it the way that I want to or equally I can rotate it. And it might be that it's big enough that it needs to be rotated. And I would say you're better often rotating the um, chart so it takes up the full page than you are rotating a page within a document. Better to display your table like this than to display your table. And you might think, well, actually, I don't like it like that. I want it through the other way. That's kind of fine. Whatever's going to work most effectively for you as you want it to appear. And, and it might be that you can go back in and, and flip some of the other things around in the Excel chart to get it to show correctly. So this is another figure we've put in. And the other one's a table. So we're going to go back to our references. We're going to insert a caption. This is a figure. So we're going to select figure caption. We'll say OK. And this is figure seven one. And then we go down to here. This is our table. So we're going to go back to insert caption and we're going to pick table. Say OK. There's our table. And this is table seven one. So what we might do now is skip back to the start of the document where everything is and say we need to update this table. We right click on it, update field, update entire table. There's our table in. Right click on this, update the field, update the entire table. There's our new figure in there as well. OK, and it's probably not changed much with this, but you can update. And there it is. Now our pages have moved on a little bit. So it's now all up to date and it's a live linked document. So the last thing I'm going to cover here is where you might cross reference. And cross referencing is important because you might think when you've been learning Word, like we inserted a figure. OK. And you might think, well, which figure is this? So we can just left click here when we're in the right place in the text and hit cross reference and then say, well, we want to cross reference a numbered item. We don't. We want to cross reference 
a figure. And let's cross-reference this figure. And what do we want to put in the entire caption? Maybe we just want to put in only label and number, and then we insert, and then we close. And it said, you will learn to use this. It's when we insert a figure, figure seven one. And this now will keep that up. If I inserted another figure in between here, so for instance, if I went here and said, insert pictures, this device, and we inserted this picture instead. So we've now got this picture in here and it needs a figure caption. So we're back to references, insert caption. It's not a table, it's a figure. Okay, this is figure one four. Oh, that's possible. That isn't going to update because it's not a new one for seven. Interesting, I don't think it will. So if we go back here, right click, update the field. Yeah, one falls there, but seven one's still there. And this link text here will still remain at seven one. We'd have to go to it and put in a new figure before seven one. Yeah. So if we went here and said, well, actually, let's put that figure in again. We go back to it, we can pick it here and we'll put it in again. So again, we're back to home, paste, paste special, enhance meta file, okay. And then this, we go to references and insert caption. It's a figure, it's actually gonna take away figure one. Okay, figure seven one okay so now this is in here we can go back to the start here and this is the advantage of the cross references when i get to that text is this a seven one we can right click on it and we can update the field and now it says seven two because it recognizes that's moved and that's part of the benefits of live linking this stuff in the background our tables haven't changed, but our figures have. We right click on this, we update the field, entire table. Ooh, now that is a problem. And sometimes this might happen. So what we need to do is go back and change something here. So we click here, 13. What this means is it's picked this up as the figure, the whole thing. So we're gonna go home now. I'm gonna click normal now. This, I'm just gonna undo that. I'm gonna go to here. I'm going to hit return here. And I'm just going to change that to normal text. That should undo it. And sometimes this might happen. You get the image comes into it or other things come in. It's because they're linked to the formatted text that's there. So now when we right click on this and we update the field, the entire table, the image goes, but the figure's there. So it was just because the image and the text were captured in the same field. So by going and, and clicking it and making it normal where the image was, it, it stopped that problem occurring. Okay, so now we have all of these sections. I can update this field, the entire table, and that's okay.